How do you clear negative karma? Negative karma is only negative from the perspective of the individual experiencing it. Likewise with positive karma. The karma itself may be the same either way, but the subjective experience of the same situation may differ depending on one's point of view. In addition to being responsible for how we view our own local karmic influence or soul for ourselves, we, those souls of beings who have evolved sentience or will, are also responsible for how we apply our personal karma or soul to the environment and others around us. So our inner mind may be purged of guilt, that symptom of negative karma, without it affecting how the karma of our soul is perceived by others. A sociopath, for example, may not feel guilty for their crimes in the traditional sense, but they are still considered guilty of committing those crimes in the eyes of the law. So to clear one's aura of negative karma requires more than just cleaning up one's interior perceptions. One must also do good deeds to attract positive karma to replace the negative. Thus, karma may be both passive or psychological and active or intentional, as well as both negative or evil and positive or good, and all these depend on the perspective of the individual. Thus, one looking out from within their living aura sees karma imposed upon them from the world around, but from a point of view anywhere outside that individual's aura, it is the individual that is imposing their own karma onto the world. It may be impossible for any mortal to have perfect karma and a completely clear conscience. One might never fully escape casting their own shadow. However, when one's negative karma is minimized and kept to the rear of one's aura, and one prioritizes the positive karma in their aura by putting it forward and looking ahead. One may function with an essentially clear mind and conscience, suffering minimal obscuration from negative karma.